Hello friends. Craig Mosher and his dog Louise were a familiar sight in their neighborhood. Every morning, rain or shine, they could be seen jogging along the winding paths of the local park. People often stopped to watch them, intrigued by the unusual sight of Louis in his harness, his hind legs gently swaying as Craig ran beside him. For Craig, Louis was everything. Their bond had deepened even more after Louise's surgery, which had unfortunately left him paralyzed in his hind legs. Determined not to let this setback define their lives, Craig had found a way to help Louise continue enjoying the simple pleasures of running and exploring. One crisp autumn morning, as Craig and Louise were making their usual rounds, they encountered a young woman sitting on a bench. She watched them approach with a mixture of curiosity and admiration. Craig noticed her gaze and slowed to a stop, offering a friendly smile. Good morning. Craig greeted warmly. Good morning, the woman replied, returning his smile. Your dog, he's incredible. Craig nodded proudly, patting Louise affectionately on the head. Thank you. He's my best friend. The woman's eyes flickered with understanding. I can see that. She hesitated for a moment before continuing, may I ask, what happened to his legs? Craig's smile softened, a hint of sadness flickering in his eyes. Louise was born with a condition that caused him a lot of pain. We tried to fix it with surgery, but there were complications. The woman's expression shifted to one of sympathy. I'm sorry to hear that. Craig nodded gratefully. It was tough at first, but we've adjusted. He might not be able to use his hind legs, but that doesn't stop him from wanting to run. As if on cue, Louis nudged Craig's hand with his nose, his eyes bright and eager. Craig chuckled softly, reaching down to adjust Louise's harness before continuing their jog. He loves this, Craig explained, his voice tinged with both pride and sadness. I couldn't bear to see him miss out on the things he loves. The woman watched them go, a lump forming in her throat. She had expected a simple explanation, but what she witnessed was a testament to the strength of love and the resilience of the human spirit.